Hold up. How y'all doing? This is Mr. J Harkless and welcome back to another top five. This is my top five of what I think were the best Sonic bosses of all time. Now, I, if you don't know, I'm a huge fan of the Sonic the Hedgehog series. And on my last top five, I started off a little negative, so I want to do something positive and something I really like instead of just doing it on video on games I hate. So this is gonna be a top five. Um, once again, the greatest Sonic bosses of all time. Now, keep in mind, I should say this at the beginning. These are all just opinion based. Therefore, if you don't like it, leave your own comment of what you thought should have been there, or or. If you didn't agree with it, you know, leave your own top five of what you think were the greatest Sonic bosses of all time. But anyways, let's get into it. At number five, we have the bosses of Sonic CD. Now, Sonic CD is one of my favorite Sonic games of all time. I mean, the level design is questionable at times, but the game overall itself is great. But getting into the topic itself, I truly believe it had some of the best bosses like bosses of all time <laughs> sure they're kind of easy to figure out and once you do there are no challenge at all but i all felt like they all function differently and their mechanics were more creative it's more like it's less than just hitting the enemy's weak point until it goes down and I even took the liberty of putting all the bosses on this list because personally I don't think there's no boss in Sonic CD I don't like. I like all of them and that is why it's number 5 on this list. At number 4 we have Perfect Chaos, the final boss of Sonic Adventure. Now I gotta say, the main reason I love Chaos is just that he came on to me as just a little bitch. In his Chaos form and throughout the game, Chaos to me was just laughable. But as soon as I seen him transform to his perfect chaos form, my jaw dropped. I was at a complete loss of words at that time. Chaos just went from being a little bitch to a straight up intimidating monster. Like every time I see Chaos, even in Sonic Generations, I'm like, fuck. And that is the main reason why he's number four. He's just too powerful. At least design wise. At number 3, we got the Metal Overlord from Sonic Heroes. Now, say whatever you want about Sonic Heroes, whether you hate it or you love it. Me, personally, I love Sonic Heroes. And seeing Metal Sonic just transform himself like that just so he can whoop your ass, just automatically tells you you're in for a challenge. Not to mention the beginning of this battle is just his first phase, meaning until you play with Team Sonic for the first time in that boss fight, you haven't seen anything yet. Oh, and not to mention the music just complements this boss fight even more. I mean, to be honest, this boss fight is kind of easy. I mean, you can just spam Team Blast constantly for the win, but it's still an amazing boss, and it definitely deserves its spot here as number three. At number two, we have the Death Egg from Sonic Heroes. Now, I can't make a list of Sonic bosses or top 5 without including one of the most well-known and iconic bosses in the franchise. I mean, the Death Egg is just straight amazing. It's everything a final boss should be. It's challenging, but it never did feel unfair. I mean, I can't say the same for the game itself, but that's the whole type of video. But you might be wondering, why isn't the Death Egg number 1 on this list? Well, simple, there's one boss I just feel like is way better, and I like better. What is that boss you might ask? Well, how about we find out? Now before we go to number one, how about we do a little recap. Number five, Sonic CD. Number four, Perfect Chaos. Number three, Metal Overlord. Number two, The Death Egg. And now, number one. Silver the Hedgehog! Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh! Skirt! No, just no. Now for real, at number one, 
we got Final Hazard from Sonic Adventure 2 or Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, however you want to put it. Now I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this one, but I can't help it. This boss fight was mostly, I mean this boss fight was mostly related to the whole chaos situation, even though its previous form, Bio Liz, Bio Liz, Final, Bio Lizard, I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't stop right now, Bio Lizard was no joke to begin with, but Final Hazard just takes the cake. This is also the first time protagonists and antagonists team up with each other in the franchise, which plays a huge part in this fight, as you get only to control both Super Sonic and Super Shadow as well, especially since teaming up in this part was a do or die decision. And once again, the music, ah, the music, having live and learn play in the background just made this feel more like an experience than just a boss battle. And that's why it's number one as one of the best Sonic battles of all time. And that's it for this top five. If how'd you feel? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below. I don't know what else to say. I'm kind of stuttering. I didn't write all at all on the script. But anyways, <laughs> if you did like this top five, leave a like, comment, you know, share your own top five. But for now, I'm out. Peace.